The UPSC CSC Arena is an ever-evolving space where staying up to date becomes as crucial as maintaining a thorough preparation with strategic planning and holistic coverage for exam syllabus vision is delhi presents gs foundation course avail analysis and integration of current affairs with gs syllabus all india test series with an innovative assessment system inculcating post test analysis discussion all india ranking and more explore the holistic learning modules intrinsically designed for the ideal aspirant Syllabus of general studies for the UPSC prelims overwhelm you to initiate your preparation for the civil services examination? Is your apprehension and self-doubt coming in the way of your success in joining the civil services? Comprehend your preparation for UPSC prelims 2025 with the fast track course targeting general studies with innovative curriculum, revision and mentorship. Starting from 19th November at 1 p.m. the course offers coverage of UPSC GS prelims subjects dedicated mentorship support and guidance for performance maximization access to PT 365 classes for current affairs preparation sectional mini tests for regular assessment and performance personalized student portal to access study material access to live and online classes Enroll today and make prelims your stepping stone to proceed to the UPSC mains. All right, so welcome you all and I hope you have been told already but then uh, just to put it for, forward that there are two major objectives of this session. One is to help you out with the subject specific that what exactly, uh, what you should do, what, what are do's and don'ts when it comes to the Indian economy part. And secondly, also to help you out because I'm told that probably some of you might be aiming at 26, 27 also, because the session is uh, in a way considering both 25 and 26, 27 in mind. So uh, we will discuss that what exactly are do's and don'ts in Indian economy and also in general uh, that what are do's and don'ts in this examination and what you should be keeping in mind when you are preparing or you might be starting your preparation by now. Now before I get into what exactly uh, Indian economy and the ch you know, concerns are, one thing which I would like to request that first thing first, it has to be clear in your mind, it's Indian economy, not economics. And most of the time, people say we have to study economics, we have to study history, we have to study geography, and so and so. No, you have to study what is called Indian economy for that matter. It's not an academic pursuit. Uh, so I'm sure at least you are knowing this much to start with, that 
uh, there is one prelims examination, then there is mains examination. Mains examination in GS, you have four papers, and then you got an interview. And the uh, score of mains examination plus interview, interview is having relatively lesser weightage. Uh, mains examination has more weightage. The sum total of mains examination and interview is what uh, decides your final ranking. Now, this examination is not about a, uh, an academic pursuit. To put it for, uh, forward, I would like to ask you one thing. Rather, I would like to request a thing. And listen to me carefully for the, this part first. If I ask you, uh, or rather I request you to do one thing, recruit one cook for me. I need a cook at my home, so why don't you do one thing? You recruit a cook for me. I'm trying to tell you something. So you do recruit a cook for me. You said, no problem, sir. Uh, it will be done. So you gave an advertisement in the newspaper, cook needed. On this particular day, an examination will be conducted. Those who are interested can apply. Let's say five, ten people applied. And you gave question. The question was, write about lady finger. Let's say, it could be any vegetable. Uh, write about lady finger. Now, Mr. A is writing. Lady finger, botanical name is this. Floral diagram of lady finger is this. All the botany that fellow was knowing wrote. Will you recruit this fellow? Will you recruit this fellow? Why? Look at his knowledge. My God, extraordinary. Knows every biology of lady finger. Will you recruit this fellow? Why? Why? Because your requirement is different. Your requirement is a cook. You need a cook, not a botanist. Had been botanist required, this fellow could have been better. But you need a cook. If you are not doing, the, doing this mistake, how UPSC would do? What UPSC exactly wants from this examination? Academicians? Had it been the case, they could have said PhD mandatory. At least do graduation, post-graduation in this particular subject. Here they are saying, do whatever subject, choose whatever subject you like. We are least bothered you are graduating that or not. Understand this point. I hope, why I am saying so? Because most of them think it's an academic pursuit. And this is the biggest blunder from where they start. So when you started on a wrong foundation, what do you end up with? And now think of it, when A is not getting selected and not recruited, what will come, what he will say to the outsiders? Oh my gosh, in this country, uh, employment is such a big thing. Even for a cook job, this much of information is not good enough and will buy two more books of biology to read more about Ladyfinger. They are the one who admit the crowd outside. Be careful. If you are not doing this mistake, such a, a, a diligent body, have you ever thought this way? That in our country we have corruption, no doubt about it. We can't deny it. In this corrupt system, how UPSC is so honest. Tidiness, cleanliness is a problem in our country to some extent. How metro is so clean and uh, neat and clean? The answers are same. What kind of institution you have developed? So any institution which is so methodical will do this mistake. And that's why I always say to those who start, and many students, even this year, one fellow who, who is within uh, top 30, he said, sir, that advice was the best advice still. I often say, when you start, write somewhere what I am actually reading for. It should be clear in your mind, so it's not an academic pursuit. So why don't buy a number of books and, you know, look the way people, plethora of books and thousands of thousands of pages of Xeroxes. Who can read it in a, year, in, a, in a given time? But look, people are. What is needed is that penetrating eyes, that analysis. Because look, uh, it is not what is being asked. Why is being asked is important. Because what is your job? What UPSC is recruiting for? UPSC wants... Civil servants, and civil servants are what? In simple words, manager for the government, if I could put simply. As IAMS is training the best of the managers, um, Lavasna is training best of the managers for the government. This is the only difference. These are two best management center. Even Krishnamurti had said this line. Many of the chief, you know, uh, they, that the private bureaucrats managers are trained in IAM Ahmedabad and the government one in Masuri. That's the only difference. Uh, your job is, resource management. We want managers. 
Now let's say A. Now be aware of these people. They are the most dangerous one and they are crowded. They are around you. They are around you and actually anyone will get that dissidence feeling. Anyone will feel lack of confidence. If someone in front of me have read 20 books and is not getting selected even in prelims, even I am bound to lose my confidence. If I don't know this part, he's on the wrong track actually. He's trying to be an academician. That's why it's still the average selection age is 23, 24. Means most of the lower age population is getting selected. By any logic, they have not read that much as those who might have read in 30s. By any logic. So you need to be clear that the requirement is different. I'm not saying that you have not to read. You have to understand it is analysis, it is your approach which is more important than getting information or piling up the information from here and there. Right, and this is the difference. Like look, uh, even this year, people were mugging up MMDR Act, this act, that act, and what UPSC asked. Mineral exploration is what kind of activity? And most of the people did that question wrong because they thought it's primary activity. Anything which is searched, NCIT class 9th, right? Anything which is not a production is service. And when you're exploring anything, are you producing anything? No. That's why how precise you are, how accurate you are, that is more important. So first thing first before I get into the Indian economy, and that's why you need to be careful that the UPSC is searching few skills, few skill sets who can be further trained to be bureaucrat. And those skill sets are something which you have to develop. You're not supposed to uh, understand or develop or mug up economics. So if next time someone is saying about Alfred Marshall's theory, if somebody is talking about, uh, say, a lot of Keynesian logic, Hayek theory, Marshall's equilibrium, you know, game theory, John Nash, be careful. It, obviously, it sounds good. Oh my gosh, this fellow knows economics. That is that might be suitable for BA economics, MA economics, or for that matter, uh, doing PhD there. Your requirement is different, and this is what I I hope I'm making sense to you, because I believe you have to be logical. Don't accept anyone on the face values because somebody is saying don't accept it. It should fit into your logic, and I can tell you how precise UPSC's recruitment system is, just with an example. One of the, those bodies which, is, which has been flawless by and large. In fact, Dr. Kalam has mentioned about it. I've been knowing that Dr. Kalam who applied for that uh, uh, job and failed, he was not recommended. He, nine, he was ninth in the rank and eighth, up to eighth people were recommended. He was not recommended in that Air Force. When he became president, he was interested to know if, because by his logic everything went well, he did extraordinary. He was very good. Then why he, they have not recommended his name? He wanted to know he, what exactly that examiner has seen in me in those uh, one hour you know, of the session that he has not recommended my name. Otherwise, the uh, score was good. Everything was good. And in the capacity of being president, he can ask the dozier. President can ask the do dozier is the private detail of every candidate. So he asked, bring my dozier. Dekho kya likha tha. And you know what was written his dozier? Otherwise, an extraordinary candidate, but cannot kill anyone, which is the primary job of army. So just to prove the point, this is how they are watching. They will search the diamond. You work on your skills. Don't get carried away by these, you know, clickbaiters on YouTube or for that matter. You know, so this is needed because, again, you should take opinion, but the opinion should come from the the sources and these days sources are available thankfully so first thing first it is not an academic pursuit because if you have done this part and trust me you might have heard all selected candidates saying one thing all selected candidates saying one thing ki in this examination knowing what to read is important but even more important is what not to read they are not exaggerating they are trying to communicate something to you. I'm just putting it with an example. So be careful. Read NCRTs properly. Trust me. Even in this year's prelims, last year's prelims were considered to be very difficult. And even in that, I can show you, I have already underlined it because my subject teaches me how to have a researcher mindset. I don't believe anyone on the log no, without logic. Last year was considered to be very difficult prelims. 37 question was the cutoff. 
30 questions were directly from NCRT, underlining NCRT. Low hanging fruits. People are doing what? They want to know all paraphernalia, big, big things. Two, three questions you might do correct, but these 30 questions you missed. Because you have limited time and you are more busy in reading those fancy things. So look, people might be more interested in to look what is happening in Donald Trump and how Donald Trump's policies are going to Im impact India's economy, but they don't know how RBI makes monetary policy. Look, this is the difference. They were talking big, big, and question was asked that US bonds are not having any kind of, uh, any kind of collateral for it, and that's very basic understanding. Even this year, Basic questions that ploy is a fixed capital, computer is a fixed capital, petrol is a working capital, uh, agriculture produces a service, these kind of questions has been asked. And these 30 questions, if you have done, done right, then journey is more than three-fourths traveled. And then managing those, and that's why once you understand this algorithm, you might have noticed in those who qualify PT once, they always qualify PT. And not here, everywhere. Because they somehow decode this, these are the key areas from the NCIT that must be done properly. The session today is also aiming at it. And that's why a concerning teacher might have told you the significance of, in their respective topics, that what you should be prioritizing. Now, secondly, one more thing. I hope I'm making sense. Am I sounding logical to you? All right. One more thing before I move further to just put the things in place. So, Mr. A writes this way, you don't want him, for sure. Now, Mr. B writes, lady finger can be cooked by in gravy this way, in dry this way, A or B? B. Now, look at C. C writes, C writes, lady finger can be cooked in dry this way, in gravy this way, lady finger can be cooked on oven this way, on chulha this way, it has these many vitamins and minerals. It is good for these people. These people should avoid lady finger. Now A, B, C. What is so special in C over B? Why C got edge over B? Theoretical as well as practical. Why you need a cook? Food? Why you need food? Ultimate objective. Nutrition, ultimate goal. C is trying to understand those dimensions also. Why it should be, what could be dimensions. Now B and C. If you got one seat, you will recommend C. If you got two seats, you'll say C and B, but B needs some training also. But never the A. Even seat will remain vacant, no, not A. He can't cook. He is not suitable for the job. That's how next time you read the uh, things carefully. UPC recommends you that whether the candidates should, are suitable enough for skill sets or not. So understand this point. What we want is that you should understand multiple dimensions. What is the objective of it? What are the dimensions for it? Uh, let me put another question to make it more clearer. If I ask you, what are those factors? What are those factors which made this classroom possible? What is going to be your answer? What are those factors which made this classroom possible? This classroom we are uh, doing, the, the class we are taking. What are those factors? The students, teachers, louder. I hope I have not asked difficult thing. Yes, the environment, well proper management, infrastructure, yes, obviously, it's important, topic, what else, even it has a financial dimension, ah, obviously, uh, that's a factor dimension also, it is also a dimension, money is also a dimension, you can't deny it. So what I, I came here for what? To teach you? No, to earn by teaching. This is the difference between an academician's answer and a bureaucrat's answer. The academician will write, this fellow came to teach so that student can be, get benefited. 
and a bureaucrat will write, this fellow came to teach, to learn the life, to, to earn his livelihood by helping student to learn. Both the answers are different, talking about different things. Look, but were you listening to me carefully? And that's why I said, precision is important, not the length. What is that line? Jindagi bali nahi, kya lambi nahi, bali honi chahi, babu hai. Precision is important. Listen to me carefully. Mene janbuch ke factors ke niche, S ke niche, we have, I have underlined thrice to bring your attention. Mene khud keh raun, there are more than one. And you just gave me one. And if the question was of 10 marks and there were four factors, you'll get 2.5. That's why reading is an art. Listening carefully, meticulously is an art. Most of the time, we don't. This is what you have to develop. Instead of reading n number of books and half slept. I have seen people, they write something, they write something, underline it, highlight it, and after two, three months get surprised. My God, I have underlined it. My God, I have highlighted it. You were not there at that time. So you're doing multiple things and doing this also. Penetration is important. I deliberately took a pregnant pause there. If the video is available, you can rewind it and see. I took almost a second's pause to say factors. I was highlighting. Even next time, why in the questions everywhere, in the government documents, why they are highlighting it, uh, what is called bold and capital. This is what is needed, and this is where questions are drafted. Okay, whether you can see these things, because we need that precision. So what is needed? Definitely not that you're reading n number of things, but what is needed? Whatever you're reading, you are having that penetrative eyes. That penetrative eyes, so that, and that comes by skill. That comes by skill. So slower readers with you know, uh, proper revision. So when you read something for the first time, you are sloppy about it. When you read it second time, you get some interest in it. When you read third time, now you're ready for that penetration. So whenever you read anything third time, you'll suddenly see, oh my God, it was also written, I missed it. This was also in the article, and that's why revision, revision, revision is the key, they say. The more you revise, more you understand the value of it. So what are those factors? If I put all of them, in, in, to cut it short, there's a very famous theory. Everyone reads it, be it in Masuri, you will be reading it, be it I am Ahmedabad, be it uh, Harvard, be it Massachusetts, everywhere that theory is taught called system theory. System theory says, in order to exist, anything required four dimension. Something called infrastructure, something called management, as you said, management. And management should be guided by a rule book. Some pre-handed book should be there to guide these management. There should be some economic dimensions and there should be some ethical dimensions to cover it. Not a surprise, your GS mains have four paper. The first paper is infrastructure, second paper is political, constitution and governance. Third paper is economy and technology, fourth paper is ethics and their interdependence. It's not just randomly picked up, kuch bhi mana diya char paper. Every paper has a every paper has a meaning. That's why paper one is very lengthier. Because everything of the infrastructure, history makes your infrastructure of the society. That brings that connectivity. Geography tells you about the resources. The contemporary society structure they expect there. Second paper, the rule book called constitution, then the system of governance, then how you know uh, internationally things are getting affected. Third paper, economy. Cannot be, itne organized, hai, those people who are this much organized, you can expect logic from them. And that's why in this examination, there is an element of predictability, trust me. If you could decode it, if you have that penetrating eye, if you have that penetrating eye, that where to work upon. So this is what I will try to tell you. I hope I'm making sense. Even these days, there's a fifth dimension also been added. Actually, a fifth dimension ki baat bhi ho rahi, and that is called environment. Because suddenly environment, and that's why next time you can see that now in every policies we consider environment impact assessment also as a key variable. In environment, gender equality is a new thing coming up. Oh, no, role of AI is coming up. So these are the emerging challenges in the planning. And that's why you can say more and more questions from that side. So the point I want to tell you that everything is organized. There is an algorithm. Algorithm, and that is what you should be f focusing at. As you're in the beginning of your preparation, try to decode that thing first. 
So just don't start reading whatever is coming in front of you. Confine it to one or two major books starting from NCRT. But then read it with that penetrating eyes. Ki what exactly the writer is trying to say. And the best way to know that, ki whether I've understood completely or not, read, close it, and try to explain it to yourself. And if you could explain line by line, point by point, then job is done. Otherwise, dots will be missing. So this is how you should be thinking when it comes to how to move further in this right from the beginning of preparation. So it's not about being uh, reading you know, unnecessarily mindlessly. This is what they said, a smart study versus you know, just getting the compilation here and there. Having said so, in economics, these elements are even more predictable. So if I say in Indian economy, what are the major challenges if I, when I, whenever I ask student who got selected and even those who tried but could not at least reach up to the mains and interview. I have found five major concerns students figure out when it comes to preparing Indian economy. What are these five major concerns if I could put it uh, together? Uh, these are the concerns. First, what is the syllabus? Because UPSC has given you syllabus and prelims in one line, economic social development, and in mains they are given some 12 points. But uh, is it that, uh, is it good enough or do we need more uh, further? So what is the syllabus? That's one of the concern. What should be the source? Because there are a plethora of sources available. So which source to study, from where to study, uh, how to handle current affairs, because obviously in Indian economy a lot of things are happening, so how to handle that current affairs, what are the relevance of notes, this is something which again, you need to be very methodical, your notes should be organized, and then uh, whether we should be do doing the previous question paper or not, because obviously those questions are not going to be get repeated as it is, so what is the rationale of doing those questions, should we do, be doing it or not, and these kind of things. Now, to put it in that order, when it comes to syllabus, I'm cutting it short and in fact I, this I will make available so that uh, on the YouTube link it will be available also in the PDF format, you can uh, download it if you like. This syllabus is something which is taken from UPSC and on the basis of previous question paper. So uh, what they're expecting, some basic concepts, term and terminologies related to economics that like what is capital, what is finance, types of finance, types of capital, or for that matter, you know, what it means when we say, uh, let's say, uh, sectors of the economy, what it means when we say uh, various kinds of goods, like last year they have asked about substitution goods and uh, complementary goods, what are these types of services, these kind of basic, what is law of demand, law of supply, so these kind of basic things, this topic is good for PLIM's point of view. The national income and its various attributes like what is GDP, uh, why GVA hasn't been introduced in 2015, what is this factor cost, uh, what is market price, and what exactly it, mean, it means when we say nominal, real, etc., etc. You should know these basic concepts. This topic they ask both in prelims and mains. Planning and associated issues that how uh, five-year plans, what is the role of NITI Aayog, why five-year plans has been discontinued, what are the challenges before the planning of India, and so Money and banking, this topic is very, very important from Plim's point of view. Every year, at least four to five questions, including this year, and very basic questions. So uh, in, even in this year, if there were 15, 20 questions of economics, I must say 12, 30 questions were doable, easily doable. Only one question, I'll say it was a bit difficult, but even if you had logic, it could have been done, and that was about foreign banks because most of you might not be knowing how, what is the modus operandi of wholly owned subsidiaries. But there was again a logic, if you understand the basic terms like what is subsidiaries referred to, you could have answered it. So uh, money in bank, that's why if someone comes to me, it happens, some students are getting asked to, uh, because of various channels from God knows from where they got the email. So uh, many time I receive mail, sir, just uh, 10 days left, 5 days left, what to do for problems. I say if you have not read anything, at least read money in banking. So that you increase your chances. So money in banking, very important from PLIM's point of view. Fiscal policy, budget, what you can say, public finance, how the budget is made, what are various heads of budget, taxation system. That is something very important from mains point of view. Uh, maybe useful directly, direct questions are asked, and sometimes applied questions are also asked, like FRBM, etc. Inflation is something very significant from Plim's point of this year, too, we got a question on mains also, 
because economic survey and chief, this is where predictability element is. This time, chief economic advisor, which is head of economic affairs uh, in the Ministry of Finance that way, academic head, he said to RBI, Ki boss, change your food inflation methodology. Otherwise, you have to keep your uh, repo rate lower. Immediately, RBI governor replied, no, we are not going to do this. UPSC was supposed to was supposed to at least uh, attend this, and that's how the question was asked that food inflation and the challenges and how RBI's monetary pol policy is helpful. That's why keeping an eye, right, that penetrating eye, and that's why you know there is an element of predictability. It might sound like bragging, but I make list every year, and in fact, I mentioned it, this is a very important development, we should keep an eye on this. So look, uh, inflation is something which is pinching us. One of the reasons why even Trump got 12% plus Hispanic votes this time. That means USA has voted on economic lines. Hyperinflation, unemployment has been bothering. And you know the Hispanics are more affected by that. That's why if you look those, you know, swing states, how he did. So everything is a reason. Look, so considering this, uh, what is inflation? What are the challenges? India has been continuously into the inflation. Uh, if you see from last almost two and a half years. Questions has been asked on this, what are the challenges, concerns, stock market and related dimensions. This they ask in prelims, not in mains, but of late they have started asking questions on it. But again, you're not supposed to read that much to invest. Investments are subject to market risks. But then even, at least you should be knowing the basic terms and terminology, how it works. So uh, then I had, separately kept these topics at one place because agriculture, industry, services, inclusive growth, food security, poverty, unemployment, these topics are very important from Maine's point of view. That's why I gave a separate slide for it. Every year, abhi saal bhi ab dekh lije, no trust me, just because I'm saying, go and see the previous question paper. You will, if six question has been asked, this time it was eight, if six question has been asked, four will belong to these topics. This time out of eight, six belong to this. Six belongs to this directly. Ab dekhi, this is how you can predict. Boeing came to India. Boeing came to India last year. And it was a big development. Dunya mein doi log jahaj banate mainly. Boeing and jet. Airbus is agar baat kare to. And look, Boeing came to India. Don't you think it's a big development? How UPSC will miss it? So UPSC asked, what is our Ulan? RCS Ulan. I am sure you are knowing that in civil aviation we got a scheme called RCS Ulan. Ule Bharat ka am nagrik. Uh, this is where the current affair is. Uh, this is uh, you have to learn, you have to search karna chahi, who started. How many of you knew Captain Gopinath? Captain Gopinath. He was the man who introduced this uh, Deccan Airways, low flight. Um, so that's how he, he has been the architect of Ulan. Information is around you, boss. If you know the things, I'm not kidding, I travel by metro. If you know the things, even this year's prelims, three questions were advertised in Metro. If you're just reading that, I still remember 106 amendment, Matra uh, Vandan, six questions here I, in, at you know, GTB Nagar Mukherjee Metro Station. Informations around that penetrating eye is needed. That whether you have that, and that's why I don't increase the length of your content, increase the depth of your study. That when you're reading, it should be with penetrating eyes. So these topics are very important. Now the next is international trade. Here uh, they expect you should be knowing balance of payment, World Trade Organization, IMF. Like whenever something happens with IMF, they ask questions on it. They ask questions on it. Like when IMF gave a loan to Sri Lanka, Gold Ranch, they ask Gold Ranch referred to. What are various types of loan uh, in the IMF? So, and then what are challenges, opportunities for India and international trade and investments? Because for India, investment is a very important development. We need money from various places. And, you know, India's global position is changing, needless to say. And the way decoupling with the China is happening, decoupling because, decoupling is because Chinese uh, foreign policies and economic policies are what West is not liking. And this is where uh, genuine opportunity is coming to India. But unfortunately, India is not in cashing that much, said Ch Chief Economic Advisor. Our government ke Chief Economic Advisor himself is saying that we are not in cash. Nahi kar pa rahe. Vietnam is our closest competitor now. Many things are shifting. So not a kind of surprise question has been asked on that. Ki what are the opportunities and what needs to be done? 
and then obviously related current affairs. What should be the sources? Uh, to cut it short, you should have at least one book that is called 12th Class 12th NCRT, Macroeconomics. Introduction to Economics is what you must have. What you must have, and you must have a previous equation paper. Previous equation paper, in fact, might sound a bit naive, but trust me, you, I hope you also know how to bet. I also know how to bet. Sachin Tendulkar also know how to bet. Virat Kohli also know. But why we are not Virat Kohli? Because he's batting every day, practicing every day. Michael Jordan, I have heard, he still throws 1,000 throw before he does his breakfast. That's how is Michael Jordan. So, uh, you know, in this examination, you have to do some previous question paper, some odd 5,000, 10,000 question paper. If you have done those 5, 10,000 questions, trust me, you will get that skill, soft skill, which will be helpful. So, uh, you should be doing questions on daily basis. Five, this is what even we try here at Vision also. Every day, you know, questions are given to them on whatever topic has been said, so that at least uh, develop this habit wherever you are. You might be in far flung areas listening online. You should be developing this habit that at least five to ten questions each day without failing. Start your day with this. And before prelims, though, it should be, in fact, I think uh, that girl, uh, she, her advice was uh, useful. She got seventh rank and she said ki, she started this one month before the examination. She actually used to sit at the same time of the examination. If the examination is 9 to 11 or let's say 2 to 4, she used to sit on table and chair, take paper and does examination at the same time. And that to fan switched off. You can't know center mile. You can't make cry there ki are garmi lag rahi hai and your body needs to get acclimatized. CSAT paper mein many people fail because unko neend aari hoti wahan. Aadha to so ki us time. 2 to 4. And a paper, mind is foggy. Paper dekh ke aaye, bahar aaye, chai pi. Arre yaar. That's why you need to acclimatize yourself. The, in that particular time. Do more questions. And that's why I often say, buy NCRT and buy this question here or previous. Thankfully, there's one book called Ghatna Chakra. Ghatna Chakra, uh, no, this is a compilation of, uh, let's say you have done GDP chapter, national accounting. So what they have done on GDP, whatever question has been asked in UPSC, UPPCS, or Rajasthan, everywhere, don't look state question down upon. I can give you quick examples. Rajasthan asked in 2015, GDP uh, uh, methodology, 2021 mains examination in UPSC. Bank Board Bureau was asked in 2017 in UPPCS mains. UPPCS prelims was asked in 2022, 21 or 22, because that time FSIB came. Now look, if you have done a question of the similar nature, obviously you got an anchor. That's why I first do these kind of questions instead of thinking of those questions online. Because online questions, who are making and how qualified they are, that you never know. There is no methodology. In fact, this is the new startup I can see. Online, the next startup will be that some people will come, experts, that we will rate every video knowledge-wise, that its knowledge is so good. That's the new startup you can see in the future. Because you don't know how authentic hai whatever we are listening. So, uh, previous question paper are any time better source. So do more questions and you will see that you are getting more clarity. Then uh, any standard book will do, uh, like the book of uh, Ramesh Singh is there, the book of Datan Sundaram is there, the book of Uma Kapila is there, Nitin Singh Hani has written. There are several books. Any standard book will do. Economic survey, uh, whether it, those who are not knowing, economic survey is a document given by the government at the end of, uh, uh, you can say almost end of the financial year, uh, on uh, first day, one day before the budget. So probably 30th or 31st January. This provides a detail how Indian economy is doing. Sometimes students file this document, uh, they find this document to be very bulky and unrealistic to read. That's why organizations are providing small brief. Even if Vision provides a small brief and online classes are being done and again, if you could trust me well and good, otherwise sources are available online. You just go and search economic classes 2023-24. And in the last, we have discussed that what are the key points then you should remember. Because economic survey, economic survey talked about the challenge of millets, how millets could be 
alternative for food uh, no, security question was there in the mains in economic survey talked about labor reforms question was in the mains so if they have asked 20 30 things your four five questions were on that this gives you an edge in the mains examination if you already have 30 40 list on which you are well equipped uh, envision what we are trying to do not only vision i think most of the organizations might be doing it that we provide we provide now here a synopsis of major schemes along with the economic survey so this time on inclusive growth whatever major schemes were we kept at one place now that data comes handy for you which you can use in mains answer writing so uh, uh, that is how economic survey is another very important document which must not be overlooked if you're not reading the original document at least read uh, these kind of brief and what is the best way to read whenever you have done your chapter wherever you're studying wherever you're preparing and you know, once you have done one chapter let's say you have done chapter on public finance now go on economic survey see what it says about public finance and add information in a notebook this way you will get habitual to this document also so this is how uh, but do buy class 12th and CRT and previous question paper these two books must be there and they will suffice by and large your requirement so that is how as per current affairs are concerned I strongly believe you should be reading newspaper people may have different opinions why I'm saying you should be reading newspaper there's a reason for it because when I'm writing a magazine when I'm writing a magazine I will be keeping UPSC examinations in my mind and that's why always I will be one step back and let's say they ask something new next from next year onwards I will add that in the magazine so on the contrary when you're reading newspaper you are reading it in 360 degree and uh, as your English readers I must strongly recommend if I could uh, I know I'm saying paradoxical thing I must and I could together but you know, I'm trying to make my voice a bit modest if I could say that there's one thing called Indian Express explained section don't trust me look at paper two paper three of this year last year last two last year last two last year whatever four five years search it now you have reverse Google so I hope you're using it you your Gen G people must be using technology more and you'll be surprised it was explained in the Indian Express if they have given you 250 odd articles all your questions has uh, got covered by and large bearing a few wearing a very few traditional kind of question and that's why reading no, no, but while reading newspaper don't try to mug it up read it just to know what is happening like uh, you might have read uh, if you're following the newspaper yesterday there was some because you know uh, climate change is a big issue and we got some report the first part of its report will be pub published in 2028 so they had given complete explanation of it how it works should keep an eye on it your selection hai. Sabhi Donald Trump and Kamala Harris and Abhi Pooch Lee, kitne logo se, those who are experts, I do it deliberately. Achha, bhai sab, aapne ye to bata diya, 500 ye vote hai, 270 votes se hai. States kitne hai, total. Washington DC alag hai, nahi pata. This is where, you know, precision is needed. And precision comes from, the, because when something is written in newspaper, obviously it goes through process of editing. That's why I still believe, I'm a bit old school that way. I still believe reading newspaper is a better deal than any podcast. I'm not against podcasts. They are also like, I do follow I'm a podcast uh, on religious basis. Daron has been my favorite writer who got eventually Nobel Prize this time. I used to recommend him in the class. Then even some students had said this fellow got Nobel Prize. And that is the victory of a teacher then. He, you know, that means you're listening to me that carefully. So it is very important. Ki you should be podcasts are there even vision is having its postcard on daily basis because we know you can't read newspaper 365 days you are young you have your priorities there are days you don't feel good there are n number of factors so for that we have a handy podcast but even we strongly recommend that newspaper should be read and when i'm saying we i'm saying on behalf of organization also considering the greater good of the students that newspaper should not be skipped read newspaper not reading newspaper is a technical mistake and don't mug it up read it and forget it things will come again and again don't worry so this is how uh, when it comes to current affairs and yes um, vision also provides or ways of, you know sources are there for current affairs 365 you know uh, before prelims and mains 
you should be following. But that's you know something very handy when it comes to current affairs before prelims and current affairs before mains when all these current affairs are kept. But again, while reading, instead of going and mugging up the data, because most of the people think economics is all about data, it's not. It's not about data. In fact, don't trust me, go and see, even this year's prelims, last year's prelims, barely there was any question on data. There was no question based on data. Last year, you can say one question was there based on data, but that was the key data you should know. So it is not about data, it's about clarity. And that's how you should be moving when it comes to economics. So when it comes to Indian economy, I repeat quickly, first thing first, you need to understand it's not economic. So refrain from scholarly pursuits. Ha, once you have done the job, once you got selected, then government will send you to IMF, don't worry, if you show interest. Go on that expenditure, why to spend from your money? And you know what, in this job, what you're going to get is beyond your imagination. That's why I often say, you have to read the snake and leather. You have to read the CD from 10 to 99. Even I can tell you, salary of RBI governor can be reduced. The program Rajan has calculated, he's a very good statistician. He calculated that if the RBI governor's bungalow is where it is, a multi-story building will be built and rented, so whatever rent you will get will be good enough to pay salaries of all employees of RBI. That big bungalow you get. Look at the perks also. It matters. It's worth dying for a few days. Because then Pagal Hoke Pandne like hai exam. It's worth that. So this way when it comes to uh, this idea that uh, you should be knowing it's not an academic pursuit one. You should be knowing syllabus properly. Revise more. Do more questions than just mindlessly reading and forgetting. So revise more. Read less, revise more. And revision, the key to revision is start again from the beginning and try to explain it to a third party. If you could explain it, job is done. That third party could be you also in a mirror. So this way, when it comes to uh, this idea of how you should be preparing the syllabus I had given you, sources, keep it minimum. Read NCRT for sure, class 12th, macroeconomics, because NCRT might be written by the kids, uh, written for the kids, but not written by the kids. They're the best of the economists of India who have written that book. So uh, NCRT is very well researched. You can refer to that. Do previous a question paper. And uh, for current affairs, read newspaper, not necessarily try to mug it up. Read it just for reading's sake. And you may forget it. And then when you get read current affairs magazines, you will be more benefited. One last thing which I would like to say, always make notes in an organized way. L let's say, most of the questions, you know, you have this problem. You can recall, Padha to hai kuch kuch. But exactly kya samaj mein nahi aata. Aapko, aapko ye nahi ki aap, you don't know this at all. Kahin ki padha hai. Wo is liye revision proper nahi hai. There's one thing called recency effect. I know, uh, uh, I'll take two more minutes to finish it. There's one thing called recency effect. What is recency effect? If I say 10 names, abhi main 10 naam loo, if I give 10 names, first name you will remember for sure, last name you will remember for sure. And rest of 8, you will jumble up. Depending upon your priority, your coincidences, you can recall few, but not all 8. This is called recency. No matter year long how good you have studied, if you have not revised properly before one month of the examination, you will be on the receiving end, you will be on the losing side. So what should be done? I often say, like, do this way. Make your notes, always keep spaces. So let's say I, you have studied whatever, and you know, you're taking classes, you're doing yourself, whatever. Say you have studied uh, public finance, say, GA, budgeting system and all. You made your notes, now go to the NCIT. If you find anything new, add it here. Keep the space. Whenever you're solving questions, you may come across a few things some new things which you are not aware of. Add it here. Now, when you're adding it, don't forget to mention the page number of that book, of that question, so that you, know, you can cross-check if needed. Now, what will happen when you're revising this, even this will be revised. Let's say you have read public finance, and a news came uh, next year in the budget, and you think it's very good. You can add it here, and mention the news source, so that cross-checking can be done. Now, when you're revising this, now this is your complete 
source of public finance and before examination only this should be revised isse kya hoga sari cheez revise ho rahi be organized and it also gives you one latent advantage that is not the objective but you also get that as you have very less space from the news you know exactly what are the keywords what to write and what to avoid this is very helpful in the mains because you have just 150 words to write so then you will see that you started making graph diagram and this is what people say you should use in the mains don't expect all of a sudden this skill will come on the day of examination if you are practicing it it will be handy and natural to you so this is how you should be now this is i this is my advice i'm not saying it is uh, it must be done but i have found those student doing it they found they said ki sir this helps actually in the last days revising data and all these things it is very helpful in fact i often say like topic like inclusive growth public finance keep one uh, page separate so that from this source this is the data and you will supply some odd 10 15 data everywhere like what is gva contribution what is cagr of it uh, what is the general trend and that helps you to make your answer good with the data so if someone is writing someone is writing women for women security cameras should be installed how does it make sense it's just a scholarly debate but someone is saying in the by applying this ses by applying this ses and you know, we got this much of money itself is a proof that if we can if we have a gender security ses this much of money can be generated to use uh, to install cameras and these kind of things it is always said that it start your introduction with some fact some data some scheme so and that is in your notebook this notebook is what you should be revising before your examination so these are a few things so please uh, don't has to be clear also that don't go for academic pursuit resource should be limited but you should be having penetrating eyes be a careful listener keep your mouth shut and brain not thinking because most of the time you don't listen um, this is what you have to inculcate i'm still learning to be honest to be a good listener but i've seen people are good listeners and that's how they can recall exactly what you have said when you're a good listener you actually can recall what somebody has said so be a good listener and be a good reader when i'm saying good that penetrating eyes ki what exactly it is written and what it means ab aap niche advertisement dekhte ho government ka to kuch bhi random to nahi likha hoga ek ek inch ke space ki value hai lakhon mein bik rahi hai to kuch likha hoga to koi purpose hoga na uska aise randomly to nahi likha hoga random likh ke lakh rupaye de rahe ho understand this point so why this thing is so important ki out of thousand of words uttarakhand government was having why this thing was highlighted this is how i don't know what is so special about uttarakhand government and mukherjee nagar metro station because they advertise a lot here anand bihar i can understand because many of the migrants take buses from anand bihar for uttarakhand but why mukherjee nagar metro station this is something which is maybe kuch demographic detail might be there log aas paas mein wahan ke zyada rehte honge jo kuch bhi advertisement ko ke liye bhi agencies hoti hain which provides inputs ki where you will have maximum footfall where you have maximum clientele so that is how that penetrating eye is needed and that comes once you are understanding this i have to know to its length and width so this is how you uh, these are few do's and don'ts and uh, i had given you the topics also uh, which could be significant and uh, again i repeat quickly just for those who want to sum up that topics like money and banking finance gdp uh then uh, you can say balance of payment imf etc are more useful for plans point of view topics like gdp uh, uh, you can say uh, public finance agriculture infrastructure in agriculture all that food processing etc infrastructure uh, uh, like you might have noticed vivek dubrai passed away i don't know whether you have read this news or not vivek dubrai was advisor economic advisor to prime minister he has been main he has been chief architect of railway transformation आप सोचो आप पता है यू आर इन मेट्रो प्रोमाइस आप मेट्रो की जमीन पे हो और मेट्रो को यहां से जो रेंट मिल रहा है वो मेट्रो के लिए एक्स्ट्रा अर्निंग है काश रेलवे ने ऐसा सोचा होता दिस वॉट विवेक दुबरा सेइंग आप सोचो अगर रेलवे ने सोचा होता कि हमारे पास इतनी जमीन है मेक होटल वॉन्ट एंड गिव अस रेंट कौन रेलवे पर होटल नहीं बनाना चाहता यू टेल मी लो कॉस्ट टू हाई कॉस्ट दिस इज वॉट बी मेस्ट 
मेट्रो की रेवेन्यू जनरेशन इन सब चीजों से भी इक्वली इक्वली गुड है सो दैट इवन दे कैन टेक बियर एंड टेयर बियर एंड टेयर रेलवे ने कभी सोचा ही नहीं कि वी कुड एडवर्टाइज लुक रेलवे रैपिंग से अच्छा खासा पैसा कमाता है यू नो द मेट्रो रैपिंग वेन अ नेम एन एब्जेक्टिव हैज बीन एडेड आपने देखा होगा फला मेट्रो स्टेशन कोई कंपनी का नाम कोई नेशनल विश्वविद्यालय मेट्रो स्टेशन इज नाउ आई थिंक एस बी आई करोड़ आर बीन पेड फॉर इट दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट मनी दिस वॉट विवेक दोड एडवाइस कॉल रेलवे रिफॉर्म न्यू रेल प्लान तो जरा देखेगा मीन्स में अगर आपको ऐसा कुछ ना मिला तो बताइए द वेरी नेक्स्ट मीन्स दिस इज हाउ वी मेक लिस्ट की वॉट कुड बी सिग्निफिकेंट सो वाई टोल बोइंग आया था तो हो ही नहीं सकता था एविशन पर कुछ ना पूछते सो दे आस क्वेश्चन ऑन उमंग That what is this R C S Udan? So that's how port pe koi development ho raha hai. India is working strongly because after this uh, Red Sea issue, we want our own because abhi bhi hamare ports bahar se hi aate hain. And Hyundai is now uh, because Hyundai and Merck these are two players in ports, and India is struggling with that. So ye sari chiz hai. That is what is you have to focus, not the Keynesian logic, Hayek theory, and the Nash equilibrium. That is good to know them, provided. you uh, uh you are in the job and now you uh, you want to apply those theories so this is how we got when we talk about how should you should be moving in terms of economy and uh, what should be your approach i hope i had been of some use to you thank you